Why hello there everybody, Dark Phoenix Ninja 92 here and welcome back to Let's Play Tyranny. It has been a long while since I've played this game. A long while indeed. And the last time we left off, we fought a duel against a bunch of the Scarlet Chorus to save this scribe guy from being executed by them. And we agreed to help the Scarlet Chorus capture some rebel leader. Oh, and we have to control Ascension Hall in seven days or everyone here will die. Can't forget about that. <clears throat> so anyways, just before we ended last time we'd noticed there were some enemies over here. And we are now going to fight them, I think. So, in... Typical style. We'll divide it up. One melee person on each enemy, and what does verse have for abilities? Burning iron. You got it. We'll have her do that. And actually, Tiberius can slice him. Let's see, Beric. You can just attack. Lantry, Lantry. You can do a quill flurry. As you command. Now everyone get on it. Now attack. And the same to you two. Okay, Tiberius. <laughs> Another slice. <laughs> Damn thing couldn't pierce cloth. <laughs> On your command. <laughs> and we're okay, and these guys are dead the best outcome we could have hoped for, probably. Uh, hold it. Found something. Those are probably enemies. And we've detected a trap over here. Disarm it for me, please, Tiberius. <clears throat> Excellent job. Will do. Now give me a second to check my controls, just so I know one little thing. Quick save is F6. Good to know. Captain of the Rebels in the Tripnetal Wilderness. Okay. I want to explore the area a little though. I'm not and we have enemies. Three of them too. These guys are moving for a melee attack. Tiberius. Hit him with flurry of blows. Verse. Burning iron on that one. Barrack. You can go. 
go striking iron. And Lantry Quillflay. <laughs> 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 How about slice him? Lantry, do one of those. Barrack. Uh, we can do this. There we go. <laughs> and now, Barrack, you can just attack. Let Lantry heal. Wait my signal. Close. Let's thrust. Lay down a thrust on his ass. Stone attack. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> can't do it. Cloth. What just happened? Why are you over there? Oh well. We'll finish him off, and you can do a quill strike on this guy. Verse burning iron him. Right. <laughs> okay, Barrack. We'll just have to straight up attack. You do flurry of blows. Verse blood soak stone. Barrack, I, I think, got it. Because he's getting low on health. <laughs> and our enemies go down. There we go. Broken helmet. A bit of the loot for us. But apparently, we have some talent points. So I have leveled up attributes. I'm going to put a point in strength. Just in case. I would like to be able to do something like that if I can. Let's see. Defense power range. Engine magic. Oh, yeah, and agility. <clears throat> well, we have two points, is that right? So. No, just one. I'm going to get faint. Add a faint of your thrust ability, blind your opponent as you strike them. As we're trying to be someone who fights more with, like, 
speed and deadly attacks than just wailing on someone like a tank, so I'd say that fits our character. That and it seems like a handy ability to have. What do we have here? Accidentally set off a trap. Well done, me. And I'm wounded. Isn't that nice? Uh, something. Uh, let's see. Florian? Pex Florian. But before we do anything, I think Verse wants to talk to us. Why else would it be glowing? How did you do that? Verse looks at you with a quizzical exp expression. <clears throat> do what? Back in the Archon's war tent, you cast an edict as casually as reading a supply shipment. How did you do that? <clears throat> well, we have no reason to hide this, really. Well, I've done it before, actually. I don't know why I didn't realize it earlier. You proclaim the Edict of Stone in Azure. It blighted the entire realm, all to destroy the rebellious Archon. Can't believe that was you. That was me, alright. Which we can say because of our decisions in the Conquest. As that actually has an impact. And I love that. The fact that even us, basically, what was character creation and clicking through some options has an impact on the story later on. I love that. Well, call me impressed. Considering that you read the words of Kairos more than once, I'm surprised that you're even alive to tell of it. Your vocal cords should have turned to ash by now. I guess we're just that special. I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable, it's just worth recognizing what you've done. Not only are you Tunan's fate bearer, you're the mouthpiece of the Overlord. It gives me plenty of reason to stick around. You're going places, and I want to see where they lead. If you say so. I have some questions about you. Do we? I guess so. What do you need? <clears throat> okay. I'm not asking that, because that would seem kind of tactless. Uh... Tell me about your time with the Scarlet Chorus. The Scarlet Chorus is mostly for madmen and peasants with rusty daggers, but it's also a little niche of freedom that I never had. Once I survived training and met my Scarlet Fury sisters, I saw a different side of the howling mob. Who are your sisters? Tell me about them. <laughs> Who were they would be more appropriate? Three Whispers, Red Geyser, and Seeking Sheath. Best fighters I ever met. And some of the weirdest names I've ever heard come to that. It wasn't a foe we couldn't take down together. Our fighting styles complemented perfectly, so we divided up the killing work like bards sharing a song. At least we used to. She presents a solemn salute. Tell me about Three Whispers. She was as calm as the surface of a pond, and light on her feet. More than one foe tripped and fell on their own blade due to Whisper's crafty footwork. Verse lets her gaze slip away from you as a fleeting moment of sorrow steals her attention. Tell me about Red Geyser. A one-woman siege breaker. She would launch herself at her foes like a battering ram. Not even a disfavored phalanx could have withstood that dumb suicidal wench. Kairos's eyes, but she was something to behold. Verse slams her fist into her palm. Tell me about Seeking Sheath. That girl could pass a spear through twelve rings from the far side of a battlefield. Kairos helped any foes who approached her marching single file. She made a game of spitting as many soldiers as possible on the same javelin. What happened to them? They seem like excellent fighters, and obviously a cut above the usual Scarlet Corps, so what happened? We were scouting around Vendrian's well during the siege, back when we only suspected the guard of organizing in secret. My sisters and I came upon a group of them, or 
Kairos knows, maybe they found us. No one said anything. We drew iron and bronze. That was when everything went wrong. I was supposed to take point and occupy the guard with a dance of blade work. Something disorienting while the sisters picked their marks. <clears throat> I hesitated. I lost my nerve. Instead of rushing the Oathbreakers, I froze with my weapon drawn. My sisters fought on without me, but they were off balance, like whatever I had was catching. They died. I lived. My sisters were relying on me to lead the dance, and I failed them. Wow, this is kind of interesting, because honestly, until this conversation, I kind of thought that Verse was just, well, kind of a bitch and didn't give a damn about anyone, but I'm kind of understanding where she's coming from. And it is understandable. Caution stayed your hand, I suppose. And we've gained fear with verse. Caution? Save your caution for the disfavored. If we showed caution, could we have taken the bastard city or the gates of judgment? Could we have conquered the tears with anything less than our blood boiling over with rage? The song of battle ripping from our lungs? Well, yes, you could have. And it caution also minimizes casualties. Think about that for a second. Hesitation is a rot. It's unbecoming of any chorus member and unheard of in a Scarlet Fury. I would cut it from my body and cauterize the wound if... if only I knew its source. She grimaces once more and turns inward, contemplating. Any thoughts on the topic, or are we just here to open old wounds? And... Any idea why you lost your nerve in battle? I mean, since you're so convinced it wasn't just you being cautious. I wish I had an explanation. For the first time, I lost the dance. The song of murder drew silent. Instead, there was only rigid, organized control. That sounds like the security of a phalanx to me. You should practice a more orderly form of combat if it suits you so well. Barak, I know you two have different views, but please try not to harass Verse. We do need to get along. Even if the Scarlet Chorus fought in formation, it wouldn't be anything like your hideous shield wall. She looks at him in disgust. Well, back to my questions about the Chorus, now. What do you need to know? Okay... Tell me about your training, I'm curious. For our new recruits shoved to the front lines, training means surviving the first battle. Anything beyond that is for the fighters who show potential, whether as blade dancers or arcane madmen. Well, it's certainly a unique way to train people. Sounds like the kind of thing Russia and China would have agreed with. There's nothing in the world like getting put through the paces as a Scarlet Fury. Every day is a test of your commitment and passion. Failure means death. The first few weeks were the hardest, but also the most rewarding. I earned my name, picked up some quality weapons, and met my sisters. You earned your name. Can you elaborate? If you think a simple farmer from the Tears would name her child Verse, I suggest you visit my old village. Most of them were walking around with surnames like Barrel or Fish. Not the most creative bunch. She smirks and shakes her head. The chorus takes your name away. Whoever you were before, you aren't that person anymore. Then you earn back a name through great deeds. Usually murderous ones. That's why you see choir men walking around with names like Stink Mouse or Face First. There's probably a good reason for it. The voices of Narat gave me this name. When the Scarlet Chorus runs howling into battle, he doesn't hear war, he hears a symphony. And when I fight Blader Boat, he told me that my music stands out louder than anyone else's and contains too many parts to be easily defined. 
When you least suspect it, the Archon of Secrets can be downright charming. Well, having met the man, I find that hard to believe. But tell me about your weapon skills. When I was just a kid, it didn't take me long to realize I was a natural. I could pick up a rusty kitchen knife and skewer a rat from across the room. Well, she must have been a downright charming little girl. Forgive me for the cynicism, but I'm having trouble imagining Verse as a child. A Scarlet Chorus gave me opportunities to further educate myself, as I make air quotations, not that you can see that. My sisters were always a bit surprised by how quickly I took to different fighting styles. She frowns for a moment and then shakes off whatever she wanted to say. <clears throat> so, and Tiberius can't really afford, uh, can't really resist the opportunity to poke into her business, I suppose. What's your real name? We have gained uh, fear with Verse for whatever reason. That question isn't worthy of either of us, but I'll entertain it out of pity. You already know me by my real name. It's Verse. Are you looking for whatever arbitrary collection of letters and sounds my mother thought was appropriate when she didn't even know me? Yeah, pretty much. Then you're out of luck. I buried that name a long... I buried that name a long ago. Long by my standards, anyway. Okay, fair enough. What do you need to know? What do you need to know? Let's see. I think we'll hold off on any other conversations. And for the time being, this isn't exactly the place for them. We'll talk later. Right now... Could you take a look at that? ...is wounded. But we're going to go here anyways. The Overlord's peons have arrived. Blades up. Falks in hand and ready for battle. The Vendrian Guard Captain bellows orders to the warriors in his camp. Dressed in tarnished bronze and sporting countless scars across his arms, Pelox Florian towers over his peers. If you value your life, drop everything and flee. Or stand and fight. I'm happy with that option, too. It just seemed unsporting for me to suggest it. Um, well, uh, this man is the rebel leader. Or, he's one of their chief commanders, so... And he unfortunately did not in any way suggest parley or approach under a banner of peace, unlike that rebel mage. So, we, we are going to, we are not in any way going to attempt to talk with him. There's really only one solution to this. Die, Oathbreaker! And we gain wrath with the Vendrian Guard. Now! The giant man whistles a shrill, sustained note that pierces your ear and echoes off the foothills to the east. In rehearsed unison, the warriors and his crew follow along, sounding their signal for all in the area to hear. Trouble is a fuck. Pause and let's see here. Flurry of blows, striking iron, burning iron. Will's flurry. You got it. Barrack <laughs> 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 attack. 
attack. You thrust. First, a blood soaked stone. And a quill strike. I got it. Bloody hell. We have been surrounded. You ready for another? I'll take care of you. That's how it's. And now we're gonna have to split up. Attack him. You please heal us. Fucking done. And Tiberius. Actually, we will take these guys first. I think. Tiberius, you slice. Lancery. Do a self heal. Got it. Now, Tiberius, I want you to hit him. Will do. That. And we're trying to take out the archers because they're the weakest right now. But Lantry is getting close to death. I'll take care of it. As you command. I feel unfortunate that that. Tiberius. Flurry of blows. Barrack, attack him. You can do Will that. do. <laughs> now, verse. Attack him. Tiberius. <laughs> now everyone else can gang up on him, and I'm going to have to just attack with Tiberius because his abilities are still on cooldown. But Barrack can do striking iron on this sun soldier. <laughs> Tiberius' ability. Well, thrust. And down they go. That tree's good. Now, on it. That we are going to have to rest everyone because they have plenty of wounds. Taking the outer valley, we have to eliminate their reinforcements now. I'll take that loot. That's 